YouTubers, this is YYC Busy Mom. Today we are going to do a quick update. I haven't been on in a while, been quite busy. So we're going to show you here we got fermenting habaneros. Come on, focus in on this. Okay, we've got garlic and habaneros. And it's a small jar, but it was started uh, March, let me see that, March 2nd. It's really hard to see. March 2nd, uh, habaneros and garlic, burp. It's going to sit for three to six months. Uh, back here, not, don't mind the mess, we've got um, sourdough. This is um, sourdough that was uh, given to me and it's been doing great. I add a little extra time in, make it even more sour. Um, Oh, if you've never tried this stuff, kombucha. Now, kombucha is a symbiotic culture of bacteria and yeast, and it creates scobies. I used this bottle I got um, donated to me, and I took this bottle, put it in a mason jar, not this one, and let it sit, and it created a little scoby. And from that, I make huge portions. Um, I'll slowly go this way. Ignore the mess again. I create big demijohns full of kombucha. This is, I use this for my second ferment. My other ferment is over on the other counter. Um, I'm going to show you my freebie I got recently. It is a Bosch um, Keurig. Like a, you put the little pods in there, whatever. Got this for free off the internet. It's really fuzzy thanks to my phone camera, but you'll see that there, um, and this little piece goes on the back here, Jeez, I'm making a mess of this video, fill that up, put the pot in, press it down, blah blah blah, the other thing I got for free recently, is just bear with me here, uh, is this tabletop cooler, it's from Polar, and it does hot and cold water, um, it's it was free now we have some issues with it we have to adjust take the fuse out to get the hot water to stop because the cold water isn't working all that well but it was free now here we go I'm gonna show you something here hopefully we get a good view here here we have back up my worm bin now this worm bin was old bins from wherever, I don't know, one of those freebie things you catch up. And it has two of them here. And this top one here is about an, about an inch from the bottom, so the space under here that's going to catch the water, the, this one has holes drilled in the bottom. Now in this bin are red wigglers. Let's see if we can find some here. Found some earlier today. But I haven't really looked. Um, okay, just bear with me here. Here we go. Nope, that's not one. It's really dark. They like to hide. Uh, they don't do well with light. They do not like light. Uh... I maybe should have looked for one before I started this film. But I don't have very many in here because I just started. Oh, here we go, here we go. Come on, come on, come on. Yay, there we go. Can you see him? Right there. See? There he is. Come on. He's trying to crawl down below my hands here. Oh, come on, come on. Come on, don't you go anywhere. Stay here. <laughs> I'm talking to worms. There we go. There we go. Come on. Hold on here. I'm trying to dump all this rest of stuff here. There we go. So this is a red, red wiggler worm. Um, when I got these guys, they were really tiny. Well, not really tiny. They're about half the size they are now. They grow to about, um, I think it's three to four inches. So not very big. Not very big at all. But, uh, what they do is they eat your scraps 
and they're red wigglers and these are indoor worms and they're going to make some awesome compost for me um, let's cover him back up and make him happy happy uh, don't worry about making your bin wet uh, the wetter it is the more you're going to have mold and stuff like that uh, watch what you feed your worms don't go giving them pineapple pineapple will turn your worms too much apparently so as I keep this bin here this is just tea that I when I use my tea bags I save them dry them out and then I add eggshells as well and um, crush them up as much as you can like this is my kids are gonna have fun they're gonna get in here with a little mallet thing and give it a good squish up okay what else we got here <laughs> uh, we got some computer work that I have to do. We got a motherboard that's dying. Um, okay, I'm gonna put my hand over the screen so you don't get dizzy. Look at my nice dirty hand as I walk over to the kombucha. Now, here we go. Here we have the kombucha. In. It's growing. Here you can see a slight, slight scoby starting there. And this is this one's green tea. Eight bags green tea with two cups of sugar. My Scooby Hotel. My Scooby Hotel is the ones that, when they get too big in here, too many, any more than an inch. I like to keep them even smaller, about that big. Once they get that big, I separate them, put them into here, and keep them around, and give them to friends. So, you know, okay, let's see what we got over here now. Today we did some baking. Here we have some. Panny Popo, oh, don't touch it with dirty hands, girl. Almost did it. Panny Popo, it's a Hawaiian dessert bun. I'm not gonna add the coconut, we're just gonna have the sweet bun. Okay, so that's got uh, 22 minutes left to rise. Now let's check what's in the oven. Yeah, of course the oven has to be dirty, right? This here is a sourdough. This is from the sourdough. I am, it's on the second rise. It has been sitting overnight for 12 hours. And this one is on the two, five hour rise. Um, I'm gonna switch hands here because I'm tending to touch and I'm getting a little worried. Okay, and then I will pull out my next, uh, so that sourdough tang bread. It's called Extra Tangy. You can get it, the recipe from King Arthur Flowers. Here is the spent or the you know when you go to double you have your spent sourdough you can't do anything with it. Well, you can. You can't bake with it for necessarily when it's all flattened and stuff like that. Well, some people do. But it doesn't have the rise capability because you let it sit for too long. What I do is I take it and I use the King Arthur's um, cracker recipe. And I add, if you can see the little flecks of red and green and stuff like that, that is all Italian seasoning. Now these don't get risen. They have, I think, equal parts sourdough, equal parts um, flour, then oil, then salt, and then your seasonings. Mix it all up. Sit in the fridge for 12 to 24 hours, depending on the tang you want. Then you roll them out crisp, crisp, thin, and hold on a second. I'm going to cover the screen so you don't get dizzy. La 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 la. Now, these ones here, give you an example. You roll them out good and thin. I mean, paper thin. They rise. So they get nice and crispy. These ones here were covered with um, tomato tomato paste. Nice and crispy. You can hear that? Nice and crispy. And salt, butter, whatever you want on top. Okay, I think that's just about it. I'm going to... Oh, wait, one more thing. I forgot. Cover the screen so you don't get dizzy as I walk around. Heard that complaint already. Here we have beans. These are pinto beans, I believe. Mixed beans. White beans and pinto beans. Now these are going to sit for 12 hours. This is three cups. 
It's going to make a lot of beans. And uh, I just finally got my family to eat beans, so that's good. Great. Yahoo. So these are going to sit in the crock pot for until about several time, and then I'm going to rinse them. Try to get as much as these husks off as possible. You know, there's no need for them anymore. And then I'm going to cook them. I'm going to put some onion. I'm going to put um, taco seasoning in it. Um, garlic. And then cook them overnight. And in the morning they should be good, nice and plump. And then we will, if they're good, nice and plump and soft, we'll put them in the oven with barbecue sauce, soy sauce, brown sugar and stuff like that. And you got yourself some baked beans. I forgot one more thing. Does it look weird to you? It is. Saving eggshells. Yes, there's dirt in there. It doesn't matter because these ones are going to be crushed up and fed to the worms. Now they have to be ground like really, really fine for the worms. It also takes care of the, um, was it pH level or something like that? Technicalities I'm not quite adverse to right now. Um, but yeah. This will even create a calcium water if crushed all the way up. Now these ones are for the worms and these ones are for us. These are going these are sterilized. These are eggshells have been cleaned, baked, and they're waiting to be ground up in the grinder I have. And they're gonna be added to foods and stuff like that as a calcium supplement. And the finer it is, the better it is. You won't hear people complain. Okay, what else? Oh, you're gonna look on YouTube. And I'm going to do what I've done before is I'm going to sprout mung beans in these apple juice containers. Now you fill it up, I think it's a quarter cup. Keep rinsing it, keep rinsing it. You cut holes in the corners, drain it over the edge of the sink, and keep going for a couple days. And you, you peek in there, see how they are, see when they are, when you want to eat them, at what point. Um, I do have milk kefir, kefir kefir, however you want to say it, but it's on uh, sabbatical right now in the fridge, so it's going nowhere. Oh, uh, boy, boy, boy. We're looking forward to getting a garden in this year, and that's thus the worms to help with compost. Um, since my bin is new, there's going to be a delay process in that. So if there's anything else you would like to learn or talk about, um... Drop me a line, message me, tell me what you want to see, what you want to hear, what you want to know more about. I'm here. Thank you. And that's an update from a long time. YYC Busy Mom. Enjoy. Blessings.